All right, hey guys. Um, just I'm in Vegas actually this weekend for an ATV race, and it's Friday. Just finished up my unclassified, which is kind of like a sight lap. You get to kind of scope out the full course. It's held at the Orleans Arena, so that's always kind of an interesting race because we're inside and outside. It's a very short course. I'd say like lap times might be somewhere around the two minute or less mark. And normally they're like 12 or 13 minutes. So it's gonna be, it's always interesting. Um, so it's Friday, like I said, I'm all done with practice. So I'm gonna go and hit up one of the trails out at the late night trailhead. I'm gonna go see which one. I might just do the beginner loop and film that. And that way I can share that as its own video and then anybody that's looking to ride Vegas and they're kind of like, uh, you know, maybe beginner or just looking for something super fun and flowy, I think this would be a good one. So yeah, and I might loop in the section of late night, the first section, not the real technical. So we'll see. I uh, hope you guys dig what I put together. Uh, thumbs up, subscribe is always awesome. And see you guys out there. Straight from the parking lot. So it's just a nice steady climb, gradual. So here you could go right and that would take you to Mustang Loop and, and hit um, the beginner. I'm gonna go a little ahead. Right up here where this mound is, you can go left and cross under the bridge here or under the highway. And that takes you to like Badger Three mile smile. Oh, oh you're good. Thanks. How are you doing? Good. All right. This trail is super fun. Not terribly technical until you get to the second part. You could do what I am going to do and cut it short. See, I feel like this is totally worth a little bit of climbing. Unfortunately. That was worth the mistake. Going right? <laughs> it's so much fun. Like body separation on like you can really kind of like lean the bike over 
and then you don't have to steer. But I, that's another reason why I really like this one. You do have to be a little careful though, because it is loose. You don't fly that. I think that might be my cutoff. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. I think this is where it starts to get a little more technical. Something I always tell people too, or like myself, is it's completely okay to walk, you know? Like hike. Don't let like one section on a really long trail or a good trail deter you from trying it. hike a bike here I should be able to make that but I just I'm so petrified of looping backwards because I, I can't get off my bike well enough trails like this. It's so much fun. Meow. Ooh. For some reason, really loose more than it has been. Oh, shit. Literally. Ugh, I totally spooked myself out. I'm gonna blame it on the shit in the middle of it, you know. mode didn't work. You want to take late night that you go that way yeah. it gets a little more technical and it'll get me over the inner loop yeah the other. E yeah either way will for sure you live think. no i live in havasu oh, okay. yeah arizona what about you north carolina oh that's a little different yeah so this is very, this <laughs> very, is very different. different is there a good ride in there um we've got pretty decent it's similar to here awesome which what trails did you do there that. do you remember like Zen, Enchilada. Okay. Oh, that's in, uh, that's Moab. No, uh, there's another one then. Uh, Gooseberry Mesa? We did Gooseberry Mesa and then another one that's And like then Holy Guacamole. Guacamole. Yeah, yeah, that one's fun. Yeah, that's up high, right? Then mm -hmm. you go on the side. Cool. Way. Have a good rest of your yeah, ride. You too. Okay, so. 
we're right here. We started right here where the P is, looped around, came over here. So then we're going to take this little connector here. We're going to hit Mustang loop. And then we're going to go up beginner and come back to the parking lot. finished up. Um, ride went pretty good. I had to stop a lot, which always kind of sometimes is like, ah, I just want to get like a straight run through. So I may go back and refilm that at some point, but I'll probably go ahead and just post this one up just in the interim. Um, it's a really fun, quick trail and I feel like it's very beginner friendly. And then somebody who's more advanced, could use it to kind of work on some of those smaller skills that we sometimes forget about as we progress. So really good one to kind of practice that bike body separation and um, just feeling the bike and letting it dance. And it's really kind of a cool feeling if you can trust it. And uh, so yeah, it was a good ride. Uh, talked to a guy that was from North Carolina. He was really nice. And um, Hope you guys like it. I hope it helps somebody out. Uh, yeah, if you liked it, thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, see you guys out there.